let's just get started. Um, I'm not sure who will show up. Uh, okay, so I'm going to put this in the chat. I'm sure you all have it, but just in case. Um, I'll put my name in a little bit. Okay, welcome to the glossary meeting. Um, as you all know, this is CNCF meetings with these uh, appear to the uh, code of conduct. Um, glossary updates. Um, so we did update the how to doc or we Valeria did that. And so she's from the Spanish team. She is a um, docs, uh, a technical writer and has a lot of expertise with technical docs and was like, hey, what? What do you think if I do some best practices and things? So that's great because we just did it out of gut, like what we thought would be right, <laughs> right? So she added like a few things that make it really good. And also I took the opportunity to, again, like update the who uh, can contribute a little bit more um, to make it even more specific. And I think one of the things, because we're saying if you're a newbie, you cannot really do this, but we're saying like you can if you tag team with an expert, right? Because if you are, if you if if you have someone like you like you're collaborating with them, and if the expert says this is ready to go, then so it's like it's absolutely possible, but you will have to find someone who works with you. It cannot be the maintainers, right? Like the maintainers cannot take that role. Um, so I think that's nice because at least it gives people an opportunity. Because we're saying localization is better. Uh, for newbies, but not everyone speaks another language, right? Or is proficient in another language. So uh, that at least gives people who uh, want to contribute to the English one uh, an opportunity to do so. Uh, at KubeCon, so as uh, Annalisa knows, we're going to have a panel discussion. Uh, Annalisa will be joining us as well, where we're going to talk about all the different things that people, uh, resources that people have uh, to get started with cloud native. Uh, we're also going to have glossary stickers a bit available. Um, so uh, remember the little uh, um, sticker boxes with the project boxes uh, last time they were gone right away. Uh, so uh, yeah, we uh, asked if we could have them again. Um, there is no way to see like how good it is, but if people stick it on their computers, I guess like some people will see it. And I, most people probably think it's a CNCF sticker because they look just the same. But at some point they realize it's a glossary and then it's like, what is this, right? So I think uh, it will work. Um, then Taylor will uh, be mentioning the glossary. He's, he kind of is now on the CNCF, uh, CNCF part aligned with the business values subcommittee because it makes a lot of sense for, because he's like the head of ecosystem at the CNCF. Yeah. Um, and so he talks to end users and end users need all these resources. So uh, he is, he sees the value and uh, that's really good because he's someone who has keynotes, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. So it's good to have someone who is on that big stage and can uh, Power. Yeah, just, just, yeah, yeah, just tell people about it because the big stage is where most people We'll hear about it. So, um, so that's exciting to have him on board. Uh, and then the issue templates have now a little. You you don't only have to um, confirm that you want to work on it. You also have to confirm that you want to work on it and that you have read and agreed to the who can contribute. Like that that applies that you qualify, right? So, so if you check that, you are a cloud native expert, right? So it's like. It's like, or you have someone who is an expert who's working with you, right? Like you cannot write a definition from scratch if you don't know cloud native. So that's clear. That's going to be very difficult. Um, and then uh, that's it from the glossary, I think. So over to you, Silk. Uh, yeah, I just thought to share that uh, we uh, previously we requested to update or localization development branches. And uh, as you can see, all teams uh, updated their branches according to the issue. So I just say thanks to every uh, localization team uh, uh, for reacting this uh, quickly. I, so there's no discussion issue, but I hope to share. And yeah, next one is about uh, all the teams 
localization effort. They are about to finish their first live version, and uh, they wanted to finish it, uh, finish it before KubeCon, so that maybe they can they hope to share their live version to others before KubeCon. So I will uh, actively participate in uh, uh, helping all the team to make it live. So that's all from the localization update. Okay, and maybe if they do manage, we can ta tell Taylor and maybe he can just mention that that latest language came live, right? So I don't know, because that would be cool. That would, it's actually almost breaking news. From the uh, <laughs> yeah, I was late, Steven. Thanks. Uh, okay. yeah. yeah, we can go to the uh, specific team updates. Maybe Noah can. Yeah, that. I can, I can start. Um, so as I said in the beginning, lately I have a hard time to follow up on all those things, but um, what I did um, is I, um, I made sure that the blog post is kind of ready content-wise, um, so it could be reviewed for more editing maybe. Um, I sent you also the link, Catherine, or in some, some channel and I mentioned to you, maybe you can have a look. Um, and right now I, um, I'm reviewing the chaos engineering term, which is a work in progress. Yeah, that's basically it from the German localization team. That's nice. <laughs> progress. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes progress. at least some small progress. <laughs> yeah, I hope to see the blog post too soon. Yeah. Yeah, the next team may be Korean, and I added uh, one item. Uh, Korean also have some progress we are uh, working on and finishes some terms, six terms. So we are going to open a PR to merge those uh, Korean terms uh, into main branch soon. That's all for the Korean localization team, and maybe Annalisa, you can yeah. introduce. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we do not have uh, much to say today, unfortunately. Yeah, okay. we got yeah we go, we got back two of the um, initial um, members that got lost uh, oh, all great the time great. due to familiar and personal reasons, but they are back. So we should um go quicker from now onwards but we do not have great great news for today i would like to uh, work more on the how to contribute part because uh, i realized that we only translated it from english and we didn't localize for real so we need to think about the workflow the processes and steps that uh, italian contributors should take because they are a bit different from uh, the ones that are dedicated for the main language, the, so, uh, the, the source language from English. So that would be my next uh, commitment, let's say. So other people will keep on translating and I should focus on that too. Because otherwise, uh, new members get lost there. They would understand exactly what to do. Um, so that's, that's what in, is in plan. Yeah, and maybe like one thing that you can do as well, uh, Valeria from the Spanish team yeah. is super nice and approachable. Yeah. And and as as I mentioned, that's what I wish I want. I want uh, ideally, I would love for a different localization team to kind of help each other. And she should be on the yeah. Slack uh, if you yeah. don't know exactly who she is or whatever. Because she did like said, well, if you if you don't know, like let me know and uh, and just ask her maybe for best practices or something. Yes. You know, like. Um, because we have someone who is really good at documentation, yeah. so we should ask her. Yeah, thank you. Okay, and then um, I'm not sure who wrote this, but EBPF and English yeah, are was, was me. Mm -hmm. So I um, I went through all my GitHub notifications. <laughs> um, <laughs> 
Ooh, and I uh, I recognize some stuff that I added here. And um, so two terms, EPPF and ingress, um, don't have an assignee right now. So um, I'd say we are looking for volunteers to take over mm -hmm. this term in English um, to write something about it. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. basically... Yeah, and I, Alessandro yeah. was assigned to it, like I saw still, so I, I took him off because like yeah. it's a long time. So it's up, because maybe people like in our docs, we say if it is assigned, you're not a lot. So it's like, it's basically- Yeah, gone. good point, yeah, so good point. And see that it is up for grasps. Um, okay, yeah, cool. And then uh, since we're talking about that, uh, we had the runtime discussion uh, like going on in the chat. Um, so, whether to include it or not. Um, and Noah, you were saying it should be cloud native. My question was like, if it is a fundamental, cause it's like in the in the um, landscape, you have the runtime layer. So it's like, that's why I was like, yeah, like if you look at the landscape, there's runtime provisioning. And so it's like, what is it, <laughs> right? Mm. Uh, I think, I'm not sure if it needs to be specific for cloud native, if it is a fun fundamental to understand, because it's like the runtime and that landscape architecture does not necessarily, I mean, it is a cl cloud native landscape, but, and I have, I'm actually happy that uh, Chris um, kind of suggested that because runtime is something that has been kind of mysterious to me too. I don't really. Someone explained it to me at some yeah. point. I was like, ah, okay. And it's like container runtime, blah, blah, runtime. And it's like, and then I forgot. And it's like, I have to say, <laughs> no, it's part of our lexicon. It's like, it's not part of my link uh, service mesh, you know, world. So I don't really ignore it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it <laughs> so I can learn. So what do you think about versus cloud native or just like fundamentals, like, what is a data center? What is a, you know, what is a cluster? What is that concept? So you can understand the landscape, right? Yeah, it's kind of tricky. Mm. Um, I agree with everything you said and also with the, with the fact that it's an important fundamental term, but I just wanted to make sure that we that we that we know that when we're talking about runtime in our glossary, it's like runtime regarding cloud native, but there's mm -hmm. also runtimes um, in the non-cloud native world, yeah. like in the program world. If we we would have to capture that, what we said, like runtime is this, and in the cloud yeah. native context, it means this. So, cause like, yeah, exactly. you probably need yeah, to understand exactly. what runtime is before to understand what it means for cloud native. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's, starting that's what with I wanted to make sure, yeah. And then adding the context. Yeah, yeah that's I, fair. I remember that we have a similar um, service in case mm. uh, in gross, our glossary, we have service term and we, uh, the, uh, the term definition Start with uh, in cloud native, we say uh, service okay. industry. So maybe runtime can be applicable to same way. And yeah. yeah. Which and service? Service is that you said? Yeah, I, I think we have service, right? Yeah, we do have service. I don't I don't remember having done that, but it's like, yeah, I haven't looked at that definition for a long time yeah i think uh, we have kind of service and it is as you know it is general term mm -hmm. uh, in cloud native or not cloud native but uh, uh we, when we added it uh, to grocery we mentioned that this term is about the cloud native um yeah in cloud native domain we think services like this yeah Yeah. Yeah, runtime is a little bit similar thing. And yeah, we can put uh, many places the runtime. Runtime have very uh, uh, common 
terminology in IT area. Yeah, so it can thing. be container runtime or virtual machine runtime, program runtime, software runtime, library. We can apply that term in everywhere, okay. but uh, if we add the runtime in our glossary, we have to keep focused on the uh, what is uh, runtime in cloud native domain. Yeah. Then I, yeah. I will yeah. agree. Yeah. So you're saying it has many different meanings. It's not always time of execution. It's something else when you combine it with some other words. Yeah, sure. Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's it's more the context, I'd say. I mean, it's it's true yeah. what you said. It's about running something, right? But um, yeah, exactly. Time of execution. But it's something. it's more yeah, it's it's more levels. I say it's more context. Mm -hmm. I mean, in in the context of a programming language, for example, when you take Java which is a major programming language um there is this java virtual machine which is the runtime for java code right which which runs the java code on the on your machine and when you are talking about the container runtime it's the thing that runs containers on your machine or whatever so um and yeah and and, and when i when i was looking at the tag runtime and um how many projects or which projects they listed that are included to the tag runtime, I recognize, okay, uh, for someone who, who, who comes from the programming side of things, understand something different for uh, um, for runtime than someone who who's on the cloud native um, realm. Right. <laughs> yeah, so it's container runtimes or yeah, runtime, yeah. It's yeah, it's tricky, but but I I'm I'm totally fine when we when we, when we treat it like service and say okay, yeah. uh, we know that runtime may refer to different mm -hmm. kind of things, but in this realm of uh, cloud native, we define it as or we understand it as this and that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. So something new. Approved and uh, are we gonna call it cloud native or just like just runtime, right? And then say like that we're referring yeah. to run, yeah, yeah, um, at least different runtimes within the cloud native if they are many. Okay, then, uh, oh, these are the things stateful app, yeah, that's like uh. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, and then we had yeah. someone who, yeah, there's always like newbies who want to grab it. And I had someone who was more senior who wanted to do that. And then he said like, no, let the other person's like, no, this is not a newbie. Uh, um, it is kind of challenging. So, and it's like, yeah, if you see like this, like the history of this is like ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Here it's like, me let me let me let me and then look at me <laughs> like, so hoping yeah. so, so many people mommy is in italy huh it sounds like we chat what's up chats oh yeah in italy. <laughs> we have these chats for your son who goes to school and they get mad and they always who said that me 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 who wants to do that? Me, me. Thank you. Me, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So it's almost the same. They get crazy. So well, I feel like that's something that mm, 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 mm. we should do internally. And with we, it's like mm. I'm just editing because I know this is like like with all of them. Like some of them I can give a first try and then give it to you. But this one I um yeah, I know we have like you were working on our back, Noah. <laughs> um yeah so uh, maybe open it mm, i had a look and i guess we agreed on something <laughs> kind of uh <laughs> we just have to yeah <laughs> um yeah exactly so 
I, 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 um, I applied some suggestion, I guess. And I feel like we can now merge it. At least, I mean, we, at some point we said the terms have, don't have to be perfect, perfect. We, um, we are also happy with the almost perfect version and then we can still improve. But I feel like this is right now in a good state. I have an idea. Why yeah. don't we have, when we're not 100% happy, we make a little disclaimer on top, you know, saying like this may need some work, kind of like tag, like so people who are using it kind of know that, okay, this is, it's almost a call to action. Yeah, it's a good idea. But but for this specific one, I I feel that it's okay. Okay, it's okay, good. Good, good. good. But in general, so, I think like if we're like, yeah, they're yeah. almost there and it's like a little disclaimer, because then people may see yeah. it and they're like, hey, yeah. I can improve that. Because people who use it will see that they will not see the yeah. issue of the github repo because no one visits the re visits the github repo unless they want yeah. to contribute yeah makes sense we might get more contributions from people who are familiar with it yeah i, I feel like we should write it down otherwise we'll forget about it um, do we have the didn't we have action items we had uh, some action. We had this uh, at one point, somehow. but yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, somehow. I mean, you can just you can just add another section. Oh, where are the action items? Oh, yeah. Oh. Um. Oops. Merge uh, OK terms with this framework. Well, not that language, but we can. Yeah. Like yeah. what we can think about when we put like a little. I, I actually kind of. Yeah, and of, for the R. Yeah, for the R back, there's in my opinion just maybe some editing. Um, necessary. Maybe you can just check if there's okay. anything fine from the wording, and then it should be. I guess it should be cool. Let me put that on my. Uh, Arbach term. Okay, and then for. I think, for these, we just decided that we were going to have just cloud computing. I thought. I wasn't sure anymore. Um, that's why I just put them here because I, I, I felt that uh, that they are related somehow, and the communication in the issues and PRs was not transparent. Even though we may have decided something, it yeah. was not. I think we decided um, in the meeting, not, and that's why it's yeah. not. So I think we wanted to get like we said, cloud computing can be private. Yeah. Or yeah, exactly. Public, so we just need cloud computing, and then we mention, and that's where yeah. uh, Sarah and I have had like a back and forth. Uh, and then yeah, yeah. So this we don't need this because it will be mentioned. Okay. In cloud computing. And virtual okay, private okay. cloud, we just yeah. skip it. That's what we said. Yeah. Okay. Right? So Can we just also write that down, maybe in the in the action item section, so that someone can, like, follow up and um, communicate that to the much spacing um, uh, so we just have cloud computing yeah route, uh, in the unknown, private cloud will be part of cloud computing All right yeah i can take that you can write my name on it so i i um uh, i will just Make sure that the communication is uh, transparent there. And then this is for everyone. That's like a longer process. That's like, it's not a one thing, but we probably, I'm gonna keep this action item here um, continuously so we don't forget about that. Do we have a, we have a PR template, haven't we? Mm, I think so. I'm not sure. 
It's a long time ago that I opened the PR. Um, yeah, because yeah, I was we, thinking, yeah, I pretty. yeah, I was thinking maybe we can just add a section to the PR template saying, saying that, yeah, I don't know if the, if the term is not like a hundred percent good, please add a disclaimer or something. But I think that's that's uh, something for the maintainers too. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. I don't think that they just, should decide, yeah. it, right? Like, because I think yeah. like contributors will try to do their best to kind of say, and we can say like, okay, it's not quite there yet. We don't have time to kind of improve it right now. It's good enough to, it's still valuable, right? Like the 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 key is it is it valuable. If it's valuable, we don't want yeah. to hide it people right yeah sure and we add that little disclaimer and like with an action item if you know like if if you know how to improve it like please do and then yeah uh, i was just thinking about how we can make sure that we don't forget about it <laughs> but yeah <That's> <laughs> i guess we'll thing. find out yeah i started doing this for yeah, other okay. things too is adding action items i'm gonna add it in a template and so each yeah. time, because okay. like when we do action items in here, it's like lost. And then what I what, yeah, what we can right. do with action items that are continuous is keeping them in the template. Can, yeah. So each time we can look at them, like so that will. Yeah, let's see how it works. <laughs> uh, regarding it's the worked for me, it's worked for me so far with the action items. It's yeah, pretty okay. good because then like you you, <laughs> you you make yourself accountable, and then you're like, oh my god, yeah. it's. Embarrassing. Right. I didn't do this for the second meeting in a row. Then you start doing it because it's embarrassing. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, Soko, I didn't want to interrupt you. I, uh, regarding the private cloud and cloud computing, uh, we also have the public cloud issue, and there is public cloud issue. You, you turn suggestion for public cloud here. So oh. this one we need to. Yeah, we, uh, not accepted. Yeah, okay. right. Yeah, I I will take care. Just just also yeah, include maybe the private, private and public, and then I will. So oh, it's basically yeah. telling three three issues no and closing them, but for private and public, we'll say that it will be included. Yeah, in yeah. the existing term. Okay. That's everything that was on the list. Anything else that anyone has to comes to mind? Uh, yeah, one, one thing about the, the glossary repository. Uh, as you know, uh, there are some permission levels such as maintainer and admin approval. Uh, in case of a uh, glossary maintainer, Noah, Catherine, June, and me, uh, only I am uh, only the admin who can, mm -hmm. who can control everything in the glossary uh, repository, including post merge of a PR. That's what I only can do right now. So maybe uh, we need to give that uh, level to other uh, maintainers so that uh, mm -hmm. uh, Noah, Catherine, and June can merge the uh, PR to uh, merge development branches to into main branch. So my only concern is when I see those things, it's like, okay, if Soko <laughs> says it's good, I'm clicking merge. It's like, I'm not redoing. I don't know yeah. what I'm looking for. So if yeah. you want to give me yeah. that power, and if you say that if you approved <laughs> or no approved, I can go, I'm fine. But I'm just saying, I'm, I may look at it, but yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. So it's like, I, there is no approval. There, there's no real review, right? There is just like yeah. a click. Yeah, so uh, yeah. maybe, uh, yeah, it should be uh, given to who understand the okay. yeah. thing and other things. So maybe yeah, I, is can be and yeah. can be right. 
Yeah, I, I, I understand where this comes from. I mean, it's kind of a bottleneck situation when only one mm-hmm. person can do those mm-hmm. things, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but I also can understand Catherine when she says, okay, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> but yeah, I was, I was thinking at least um, Jihoon, who, who works uh, pretty closely with the stuff that, that Zoko does, would make sense for me. I mean, I understand those things as well, but I don't have to have this this rights but more than one person should have have those things because i i think it's not only about merging the um, prs it was also it's some stuff happening. related to setting up the new mm. the new localization teams i guess so it's it's more than just merging the prs but mm. yeah that's right mm. so in that case uh, maybe june is it okay to give the admin <laughs> authority to you uh, I have the same opinion <laughs> as Noah's, so yeah, it would be great to yeah have Noah and me power. and <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay then uh, let me let me open up here to make uh june maybe june first yeah to have yeah. the admin admin authority i guess we okay. agree on that yeah and i'm always like if if there is like a moment where something needs to be merged and you know it's correct and are confident and you like i can always do that kind of thing but i would only do it if you say yeah, Catherine yeah. merge this right like this is good you know like it's like not yes. otherwise I that's why some of the PRs I see they're merge or I, I ignore because it's like I don't want to review something that I cannot really review so that's not mm. the purpose it's not the purpose to just like go and say like oh like, someone approved so I'll just approve and trust it that's not the idea of that yeah. setup. Right? True. Okay. but if there is that case and we're confident and like Jihoon is gone and it's just you and it's like I don't know like I'm always happy but it should be like very specific and one of cases because yeah okay thank you okay okay so who is uh going to KubeCon I know Annalisa is Noah are you no this time not yeah no, but surely me. <laughs> Joko needs to win another prize, so he gets. <laughs> <laughs> Please give me <laughs> anything. Yeah, I I still think you have to make a case for your boss because it's like you're do you're studying like you're basically your research is cloud native, so it's like that's the conference. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. give me the number. Maybe. I'll call your boss. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, thanks everyone, and then yeah, thank you. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Ciao.